Hello, Roger Gewolb here with your grown-up's guide to financial independence. Over and over, Jeremy Hunt just keeps showing us that he doesn't get it. Uh, it's really amazing. It, it's probably because, like Rishi, uh, he's one of those people, not all rich people, of course, but he's one of those rich people that just can't relate to the kind of life that the rest of us lead. I mean, Rishi... Uh, is so rich, he, he, he gives his kids their pocket money in Bitcoin. And uh, Jezza is, is so rich that uh, when he tickles his kids, he goes Gucci, 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 coo. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're just not it. They're lost in that Westminster bubble. It's like talking to a fish about water when you talk to them about the cost of living crisis. Did you ever talk to a fish about water? You know, you say, let's talk about water and it goes, Oh, that's a good idea. Sounds like fun. Um, what water? You know, they live in it. They don't. They just don't know. They don't know anything else. As I say, not all wealthy people are like that, but especially the ones that uh, are leading us and get caught up in all that Westminster uh, bubble uh, rarefied air seem to lose touch with how people, common people, common Brits are struggling. And he just doesn't get it. He's made this absolutely ridiculous video where people are saying he he's like Mr. it's like watching Mr. Bean <laughs> and he he talks about inflation and cups of coffee and people on social media have called the video uh, condescending I quote condescending and didactic oh what a surprise coming from super smug Jeremy anyway even worse the video is just utter nonsense in it he claims that he, like Rishi, is going to have inflation this year, and he's, he's taking the credit for it. Well, you know, I've been saying, as you all know, for more than a year, that what we're suffering from is called cost push inflation. It's not consumer driven. It's not driven by overspending, for goodness sake. We're, we're all cutting back, aren't we? We're not overspending. Uh, it's different than what's going on in the States. Um, and it, it's the kind of inflation, as in 2009 to 2012, runs itself out, burns itself out. And that's what's happening. That's why you see fuel prices and petrol prices and all kinds of prices dropping now. Cost push inflation, which is caused by external forces, uh, increased costs of material and service, uh, starting to ease and running themselves down. Now, in the United States, Canada, France, Germany, Israel, and other countries, they're also going to see inflation have this year. And isn't it funny, there isn't a single finance minister or prime minister in any of those countries uh, that is claiming credit for reducing that inflation. Only here, Jezza and Rishi. And um, they've left out, he's left out of his uh, 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 video a few small points, uh, such as, uh, Liz and Quasi's uh, disastrous mini budget and all the damage that's caused that we're still living with and the huge amount of new additional stealth taxes that he's just brought in, uh, which now makes us the highest taxation in 70 years, uh, I, I believe the highest tax country in the European Union. Union. He, he just glosses over without even mentioning those things. So I ask myself, gosh, is it any wonder that uh, nobody voted for this guy to be PM? So I hope you have a good day. And this is Roger over and out.